In this video, we're going to talk about the combination lock. The last video I did, I briefly went over the combination lock. Nothing really big deal about that, right? Alright, but in this one, we're going to go a little bit more in depth as we are going to make a full door with this type of system integrated into the door. Now, there's a few things that we need to do in order to make this workable for a door. We have combinations. You have to have them in the correct order and correct position in order for the bolt to be retracted. Now, the bolt is pretty simple on this. All is a solid piece of wood with two notches in it. Teeth lock into the bolt's notches. Now, the teeth are what make the bolt not move. Now, in order for the bolt to move, these teeth need to be lowered and raised. Now, to do so, you have to have the combination, like so. Now, there's one problem with this right here. It's, it's only one way. What I mean is that in order to get in, you have to have the combination, which is what we want. But, when we're trying to get out, this process right here, this way, means that we have to have the exact same combination just to get out. And that's not going to cut it. So, we will be designing a new bolt that will allow us to be able to just pull back the lever and open it up without having to touch any of the combinations. And then close the door and relock the lever. The bolt will go back in and it will automatically reset. It's easier said than done, but let's get started. The bolt is one of the most important parts of this lock. Here's my prototype of a bolt. It's just like the other one, notches, has function to it. We have the outside lever, which is meant for pulling the bolt back. But that's provided that both the teeth, top and bottom, are released. The inside is what has the function part. If you guys can look here, you can see that we have a piece in the middle that essentially pushes out the teeth. What that does is it allows the person from the inside to pull back the lever. The teeth are then raised and lowered and thus the bolt can slide back. When you release, it opens up the grooves so you can Close the door from the outside, remember, outside handle, and then the teeth will clamp down because they're under tension. So, what I'll do is that I will build one out of oak, exact same function. So, let's get started building the frame. frame is basically finished. Now all you do now is start putting uh, one side on. Ah! Out again! You still there? It's coming along. Right, now it's time for the fun part. Making the mechanics of the lock. We can do it. This will be the fun part. Now, it's time to make the bolt. This is what we're gonna make right here. We're gonna make it out of a smaller piece. Instead of making it out of maple, we're gonna make this out of oak. Made the big version to get the mechanics down. Now it's time to make the small version. Let's get started. On the bolt, I got it cut out for the handle. And here's the internal mechanism right here. This is how it works together. It goes in here and it gets pulled back. Just like the prototype, it raises the teeth. So say if we got teeth right here, it raises the teeth. All we gotta do now is get the compression uh, springs on here. And here we go right here. So. 
these are quite annoying. With my prototype, I had a larger spring in here which didn't bend so much. So we got a little bit of problem. So this is my solution here. Just grab some uh, standard copper wire here. If you put it on, put it in here, what you got is a spring that cannot bend. When it's pulled back, and compressed yep, all the way okay. and see I put holes in the back so the wire can keep moving back as long as we put nothing in the back of the bolt in the door we should have no problems whatsoever so now let's put it all together and see how it does I put on the sides to encase it and as you can see inside uh, right there you can see the springs. The springs are right there inside. So, and you can see, <laughs> this could almost be used as a weapon, couldn't it? All I do now is glue on the handle. For the inside, which is right here. The outside, attach the outside handle here, which will move the whole bolt inside we'll move first the unlocking mechanism and then once the handle reaches all the way to the back the teeth are cleared and thus you jolt open the rest of the bolt it's coming along so far <laughs> 